Well, I guess it's time for a trip down memory lane. Sean the bomb and today's actually my birthday yeah so I figured we'd he'd take take a look and and talk about some shows that had me and the guests today have watched throughout our childhood and if you've been watching my videos since the first video you know what I'm talking about you know him you love him or maybe not give it up for tea Yes, T is actually, he volunteered to help me out with this video. This video, so, you ready? I hope all of you enjoy the video in three, two, one. Let's get it. So, short number one is Blue's Clues, a personal favorite of mine. And it teaches you, you how to draw. And if you've been on my Instagram, um, you know that it has taught me a lot about drawing. Any, any input to T? Well, I really like the show, especially with, um, you know, like Mr. Salt. Yeah. Mrs. Pepper. <laughs> and the baby. Yes. And the baby. And, and. Oh, but what about the, um, the two guys? It was like one guy, like he always liked squares or whatever. Oh, snap. I, I don't. Um, Steve. Oh yeah. And Joe. And, Steve and Joe. And yeah. now Josh. Yeah. Josh. I don't. Look, a um um a look, it was their um, they wanted to, to um remake um an, an old classic, an old classic, and and I can they ruined it. I have young viewers here. Chill. I don't care. They ruined it. Oh, that's my childhood. What? Oh uh, um okay. Okay, what's this, um, what's this, um, what's this, um, continue, um, on, on, um, on, um, before, before he rants. Show two is another classic, Spongebob, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I really shouldn't, um, I really shouldn't have to say anything about this if you've been living under Patrick. If you belong with Patrick, you know what SpongeBob is. Any inputs? Not really. I mean, basically every kid in the United States knows what SpongeBob is and likes them. Yeah. Number three is Power Rangers Samurai, and 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 you know I like all of them, including the newest one, but I I don't have anything um, else to say other than for some reason people hate that but like Phineas and Ferb, but but they don't know which show is fun to watch, which show has a good storyline, which show has life lessons, which show has boxing in it, kind of, and which one has good music. Any inputs, bro? I would choose Power Rangers over Phineas and Ferb any day. Me too, man. Me too. B BFFs. Number four is 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 his same is just as classic as um the first two, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Here. Ah. Hmm. Remember, remember when Jazz um gets thrown out. Ah. Yeah. R. I. P. Uncle Phil. Oh. You know, I like I like Fresh Prince a lot, and like um, the thing about it, it's like the people who they chose to play because like, you can't just choose anyone to play those type of roles. Like, I would really, I really, I would really take my hat off to the people who played like Uncle Phil, like um, James Avery and um. First Aunt Viv. Yeah, the first Aunt Viv. Yes, that was the best Aunt Viv. Hey, oh, 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 oh I, I call them one question: Who played the second Aunt Viv? And no, no. More importantly, who hired the who hired the person? But who do you know the why the first one left though? No, why? I read that she kind of had problems with Will Smith. Oh right. Yeah. Right. This um because you know she didn't get fired. I, I believe I believe she quit actually. Uh, but 
but um they could they could they could um 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 have you literally anyone else why did they choose that person but to be honest though like i mean yeah it take it takes a while to get to get used to the to like the second anvil but no one's done it no one's no one's done it better than the first one number 5 breadwinners there's a a nickelodeon show that is underappreciated while is overappreciated right hey you know um you know um again good storyline not as many why not as many um like lessons as power rangers but it, it gets a hit, but but it gets its, um it, it it um get it um it'll um it'll go through mm, 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 mm. i mean ski the great and i eat big steel <laughs> remember that to me bear runners was one of those shows where like you would you would like click you would you would surf you would surf through the um channels right and um I would I actually saw Brett Runners like twice in my childhood and like and like I just like I just left it there and like I mean I didn't really quite understand it but it was sort of fun to watch though. Yep. Yep. Phoenix and Ferb. Number six is I'm in the band. And the the Iron Weasel. And you know like you know, like um when when we first made this video because like we tried to make this video when I turned seventeen, mean we didn't have this on our list. We didn't have this on our list. We had had like um the fur like um the first like three shows were on the list on the list. And and Iron Weasel has some and Iron Weasel has some good songs. You know, you know, you know like um um, 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 the show, um, the, the show, I'm, I'm described by every rocker, rocker perfectly, perfectly. Derek was the, um, the egotistical one. Ash was, like, um, the dumb Ash one. Ash was my favorite character, to be honest. And Burger was the, um, the fat one. And, um, his name is, his name is a food, um, you know, like, um, 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 that's unhealthy. And Trip was the, and Trip was the average guy who won a contest to, and Trip was the average guy who won a contest. Test. And you know, like um you know like um the um the Burger's mom and Trip uh, sp- <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. And Burger and Trip's mom love story was kind of, you know, like um it was kind it was it was um it was okay. Any inputs other than Ash being everyone's favorite character? Alright. Number seven is iCarly, another classic, and a classic that I did not really get into as much as others until the reboot came out. Out, out. and I'm so happy it came out on on you know like um a series or like a streaming app for adults because you know like um because you know like um they can cuss in this one, this one, this one, and. And even though Sam's not in it, at least Spencer is in it, and that's good enough for me. Any inputs, man? Mm, not really. Like the show, the show was good to a lot of people. And um, oh, my favorite episode was when like um, so Carly, Sam, and Fred, they they were um going to this MMA fight. Oh 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 um um. And like and like the guy had she had, he had threw Spencer against the table. Oh, that was funny. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and 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 plus and plus um 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 One Direction, mm-hmm. playing white tees, white tees, he. He's the red Dino Charge Ranger. All of them has made like cameos in, who's in the show, and and I love every single one of them. Except- oh, also, Andre from Victorious he appeared in iCarly one time too. Oh. Mhm. 
Wow. His name was Harper in the iCarly episode, and he um, played the guitar. Oh. Mm-hmm. I really thought um, he he did the he, he did um the drums. Um, oh, oh. So speaking of, mem mem remember when you remember when um oh wait wait hang on I I'm pretty sure like um um I I'm pretty sure there there was like some kind of like um stuffed thing um um I'm like Barney or like um a dinosaur of some kind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had to put on a dinosaur outfit. Yeah. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> and and um, and the reboot is just that minus some um, like whole website thing, and and more like um like adult problems. Number eight is Kick Patowski. Husky. Oh 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 wait, he's not um fully um in the frame. Sorry about that, people. Anyway, um. Anyway, um, I was really in, I was really, um, into the show when, when I was, like, um, in fifth grade, and I really got back into it, like, um, in the past year or so. Oh, well, um, like, um, I really don't, don't have anything to say about this other than the fact that, um, that, um, Rowley is oh sorry not Rowley um Gunther is it um 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 it's kind of like you know you're like um the dumb sidekick hey kick and kick and I this is my Gunther right here <laughs> any inputs Gunther. The way I found out about Kit Butt Matowski is that I was on the computer one day and like I had you know how like Disney Channel had like that website where like there were games and videos. Yeah, every um every um thing thing um thing um like Nick PBS yeah all 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 those have that. Yeah, um, I played I played this game. It was like it was like where I like kissed Kit Butt Matowski was in a truck right and he had like drive like a little truck around. And then after that, I was like, hmm, I wonder what the show's about. And then when I started watching the show, it was like, it was like oh, okay, okay. But to me, I think it's underrated. It's kind of underrated. Yeah, in two seasons, well, Verb has four and a movie? And, and a Disney Plus exclusive? What? Hmm. Number nine is Drake and Josh. If you... If you have never heard of this show, then you're probably a baby, or or or, or probably in the hospital. Hold oh, 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 I'm I'm about to die. And you know, like uh, I'm, I'm, the way I found out about this show was I was staying at my uncle's house, and in, after an episode of Hey Arnold, which will now be number ten on the list, I watched Drake and Josh, and I was hooked. But I, 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 I forgot the first episode I ever watched, but I can tell you the episode I do remember is when Drake and Josh like had to give up video games and junk food. I remember that one. <laughs> and they both fell into that big thing of chocolate. <laughs> ah, you came. Oh my god! And 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 the theme song is kind of good too. Like. And then, and then the final like. Seriously though, everyone should either like or respect Drake and Josh. Well, what was your fave, fave episode? The salsa competition. Um. When they were both trying to win that big TV. Oh right! Oh oh right! The um like South America. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! And 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 and, 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 and like, um um they actually made the super spicy, super spicy um um I'm I'm chilly by accident thanks to Megan. Yeah. And finally, the number 
the tenth show on the list is Johnny Test, and you know, like um, um, it's probably underrated too, and it's better than than um than um, penis and turd, in every way, and um in every way, more seasons, more seasons like um, life lessons sometimes, times mm-hmm. uh, times. And, and you know like um and, and and like um funny episodes all around and and in the reboot you didn't know that did you no, I didn't oh and um well let me um show you the show you the the, the theme song real quick. Um, and, and and for people who don't know, it um um it will have a second season. He's in, and you know I cannot wait for that either. Either I I have watched Johnny Test since um I'm pretty sure like um second or third grade. Hey, hey, any inputs? All right, that's it for 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 the video. For the um vid vid, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I I'm sorry. I haven't uh I I haven't uploaded in a hot minute. I've been busy. I've been busy on the school, school and you know like um and, and you know like um um my personal life. I've I've and 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 thanks for listening to us um talking about about the years. Well, we will probably. N- we we will never get back, like, and 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 thank you for T for showing up. Well, don't forget to like. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and join the bomb squad. This has been Sean, and this bomb's going boom. Peace.